in January this year, about 8 billion transactions worth nearly $200 billion were carried out on the UPI. According to Dilip Asbe, the Managing Director of the National Payments Corporation of India NPCI. In fact, the volume of transactions has witnessed exponential growth from just 0.02 billion in financial year 2017 to 60 billion until December last year. Similarly, the value of transactions has spiked from 0.1 trillion rupees to as much as 100 trillion rupees during this period. The value of instant digital transactions in India last year was far more than in the US, UK, Germany and France. Combine the four and multiply by four, it is more than that, as Cabinet Minister Ashwini Vaishnav told the World Economic Forum in January. In order to avoid the concentration risk and provide a level playing field, the NPCI had proposed a 30% volume cap for third-party app providers. At present, two apps, Walmart-owned PhonePay and Google's Google Pay, dominate the market of third-party UPI apps. Together, they account for 82% of the UPI transactions by volume. PhonePay with 47% and Google Pay with a 35% market share. And 84% by the total value of transactions. PhonePay with 49% and Google Pay with 35%. Unified Payments Interface UPI UPI is a system that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application of any participating bank. Merging several banking features, seamless fund routing and merchant payments into one hood. It also caters to the peer-to-peer -peer collect request which can be scheduled and paid as per requirement and convenience. With the above context in mind, NPCI conducted a pilot launch with 21 member banks. The pilot launch was on 11th April 2016 by Dr. Raghuram Rajan, then Governor RBI at Mumbai. Banks have started to upload their UPI-enabled apps on Google Play Store from 25th August 2016 onwards. How is it unique? Immediate money transfer through mobile device round the clock 24 by 7 and 365 days. Single mobile application for accessing different bank accounts. Single click two-factor authentication aligned with the regulatory guidelines yet provides for a very strong feature of seamless single click payment. Virtual address of the customer for pull and push provides for incremental security with the customer not required to enter the details such as card number, account number, IPC, etc. I think the most important feature is QR code. Best answer to cash on delivery hassle, running to an ATM or rendering exact amount. Merchant payment with single application or in-app payments. Utility bill payments, over-the-counter payments, QR code, scan and pay based systems. Donations, collections, disbursements scalable. Raising complaint from mobile app directly. UPI AutoPay. UPI AutoPay allows customers to set recurring payments for their UPI transactions. Recurring payments up to 2000 rupees can be set at the frequency desired. A one-time authorization need to be provided by the customer. UPI for IPO. Customers can provide their UPI ID as a payment option while subscribing to IPOs in the National Stock Exchange NSE and Bombay Stock Exchange BSE. All they need to do is tell their brokers to provide their UPI ID as the payment option while making the IPO application. Customers can enjoy the instant fund transfer experience of UPI while subscribing to an IPO. Instant mandate creation ensures real-time application submission. Customer support for transaction-related issues. NPCI NPCI is the owner, network operator, service provider and coordinator of the UPI network. NPCI reserves the right to either operate and maintain the UPI network on its own or provide or operate necessary services to third-party service providers. NPCI will provide and maintain the network infrastructure relevant to the operation of the UPI platform. Maintain uptime and ensure timely settlements to banks. NPCI may revise the UPI architecture and its procedural guidelines as and when required. Dispute redressal mechanism. Every end user customer can raise a complaint with respect to a UPI transaction on the PSP app or TPAP app. End user customer can select the relevant UPI transactions and raise a complaint in relation thereto. Global picture. Non-resident Indians NRI, will now be able to access the UPI on their international mobile numbers as well.
NPCI has said it will be begin enabling the transaction for mobile numbers having the country code or below mentioned countries along with current domestic country code. It plans to extend the UPI facility for other country codes in near future. The list of countries supported is Singapore, Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, Oman, Qatar, USA, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and UK. India recently kicked off its first cross-border real-time payment systems connectivity, India's UPI and Singapore's PayNow linkage. Currently, Indian users of the participating banks will be able to remit up to 60,000 rupees in a day using the mobile apps. At the time of making the transaction, the system shall dynamically calculate and display the amount in both the currencies for convenience of the user, the RBI said. The Universal Postal Union will evaluate UPI for integrating the UPI with cross-border remittances using global postal network. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and share this video and do subscribe to this channel.